Well, hello again. It's me. I'm stuck. We have some villagers in their homes. There he is, looking out the window. The freedom he shall never know. I'm so sorry. He's just a farmer. He's not got any real trades. I've just traded with him so that he doesn't convert to being a fisherman. Because there's barrels everywhere. And there's a gate so that he can't get out because villagers can't open gates. They can do doors, but not gates. So he can't get out. Nothing can get in. And it's not too obtrusive to look at. It's just a little bit more spruce. I don't mind it. Not everybody's cup of tea, but I don't mind that. It means that they can roam around their houses and you just catch sight of them occasionally. I've got four in. This guy really likes standing up there. I don't know why. He just seems to enjoy doing that. To each their own. I would like to have them as completely free roaming villages at some point all around the town so they can go wherever they want. I will obviously need to make a lot of walls and I will need to light everything up and make it all completely free of scary monsters that will eat them. Uh, except maybe that one. Still can't do much about that. Where are you? There we go. Still there. Still ominous. I've also moved across some unemployed villagers so that I can get more villagers down here. I didn't realise this was a tiger here. I thought this was part of the plains. But nope, this pit is apparently a tiger, so we get nice tiger villages. So I've moved them down here so it's much easier. I don't have to make a great big wiggly chain of railway track all the way across to the other village, which I did earlier. And guess who forgot to bring that mending villager across? It was me. I forgot. Of course I did. But I am going to need a mending villager because Horatio here had a wonderful idea. Yes, it was Horatio. Horatio had the idea because he's a very clever boy. When we went to find the end portal back in episode four, I think it was, I found all these bookcases with all these books and bookshelves. Except I can't read. Well, I can, but I can't read the villager script, which is what those books are written in. They're, they're written in villager tongue, which I cannot read. So we need to go and get some villagers that can hopefully read it for us and then tell us what's in those books. Horatio had the good idea of building a library and then bringing all of those villagers over or getting some here and having the librarians tell us what we need to do about that monster. Somewhere in all those books there has to be some information on what we can do with this thing before it makes an even bigger mess than it already has done. I'm not sure whereabouts I'm gonna put this village and the library and some of the other bigger structures. I feel like this needs to be the cottages and some of the farm buildings and that kind of thing and I want the... I think I want the bigger properties and the, the kind of public spaces to be up on the hill. Oh, zombies. Oh, you're right there. Wow. Be gone. You've got a full suit of armour. Good for you. Maybe up here might be quite nice. Have it kind of maybe an L shape around this. That might be quite nice. Yeah, it doesn't need to be square or rectangular, does it? I can make it a, a nice L shape. Maybe a... Maybe a U. Have it curve around. Hmm. Yeah, I quite like that idea. I think I'll put it here. This means I've got to dig up a whole hillside again. I think I've got some foundations in. Mm -hmm. For starters, I've marked out where this little river is going to go. I like the idea that there's something just tumbling down the side here and that the, the library is actually maybe kind of built on it. That maybe part of it is going to be visible in the library itself. That might be quite cool. But as you can tell from the way I'm speaking, I have no plans for this at all. I have no idea how this is going to look. I will follow the same kind of building palette that I've got in the village down here. So I'll follow the use of, you know, the spruce walls and the stone base and the, um, the mangrove roof. And a bit of terracotta for some additional colour, but I don't actually have a design in mind for this. I've got some ideas for shapes. I'd quite like this to be a single level. 
then for it to go up a level again up here, and then to have a tower of some kind, maybe kind of an observatory, that might be quite nice. So it's it's going to be not completely uniform, it's not going to be symmetrical, I have no idea how I'm going to do things like the roofs, I'm very bad at roofs, but I'm kind of curious to see where this will go. It's been a while since I've actually built something completely on the fly. But yeah, I've got stairway so that you can get up and down from this lower level. You can come via the stairs here. There's some little storage areas. I think it'd be nice to put some barrels and some study areas. A wall of books here. And then this level's going to be a bit more open, a bit more like glass fronted to make use of the views. And possibly have another entrance way here that connects up to the paths here and joins up with the nether portal path, since this path is already here. I might carry it around here. We'll see. We'll see. I'll make it up. I was a little concerned that it might end up a bit small, but I actually think with the roof, and it's going to be a bit of a slouchy roof like it is on the cottages down there, that it, um, it will probably look fine once it's done. I have a tendency to make things either way too big or way too small, but I feel like this might just be just right. For just a couple of villages, a couple of librarians, some books, some study areas, and yeah, an observatory, that might be quite nice. And while I've got most things needed to do all the building, I am probably going to need to get some more uh, mangrove. I keep wanting to call it crimson, but I could probably do to get more of the mangrove wood, which is such a pain in the butt to harvest. I mean, that's not bad, but I think I will go get some more anyway. So now I just need to fill up a load of shulker boxes with the stuff that I will actually use to build. I'm thinking dark oak for the floor, spruce for the, the body of the build, along with stones again. I would like to put some copper in the floor, I think, give it a nice kind of decadent feel. And then, yeah, the roof stuff. I've got some of the accessories that will go in the decoration parts, and the rest of it I'll just fill up. I have some copper oxidising because I need more of the colours. So I have a very tatty arrangement of copper, just strewn. Gotta wait for some of this to oxidise, but I can make a start on the foundations, which I think I will do right now.
after another four hours, I'm getting there. <laughs> this still isn't finished. This, I don't know what's wrong with it. There's something about it that's irking me and I can't place it, so I probably will come back to this at some point and make some corrections, but for now, it is done enough that I am happy to move the villagers in. Horatio seems content. Look at him. Once they're in, I'll block them in with a gate again, so they hopefully can't get out. I'll probably need to put some fence posts here, but they'll be fairly discreet. And then they'll have the free roam of the library, which as you can see is messy, because I like messy. For some reason we have some dangling bookcases, I don't know the logic of this, but it looks cool. Some books are covered up because they are secret books, with forbidden knowledge. Some books are out being read. I've got another enchantment set up here for ease. I've also got a little brewing stand. I don't do potions very often, but it's still nice to have one out, and I felt it fit the look of this little area. This is the tower, and I haven't done anything with it yet, because there's no need to. I might end up turning it into something completely different. I don't know what to put up here, but I think it might be nice to put some... Oh, hello. It might be quite nice to put some uh, armor stands and kind of imply that this is more of a watchtower than a, an observatory. Can we actually see the dragon from here? Just about. He's in the fog. Downstairs is a bit more open and a bit lighter, and this is the little bedroom nook area. I just like the idea that these scholars are here all day every day, these librarians. This is their not just their job, it's their life. So they're going to live here. Outside is this little area. Now, I can fit through there. I don't think villagers can. I've never seen villagers go through quarter like corners, but uh, maybe they can. We shall see. And then I will eventually make this a path that goes up here. Level this out a little bit. So it'll come up here, and then in this pocket I'm going to build a lovely little pond, and this is where I'm going to keep my axolotls. We'll give them all names, we'll make this all pretty. This can be a serene little garden where people come to study. I'm not quite sure where everything's going in the village just yet. I've got some ideas for key points, but I don't want to terraform too much around every single build because I might actually want to put something there in the future. So whilst I know this is going to be a little pond and I'll put the garden and the path here, don't necessarily want to eat too much into this hillside because I might put another building here, probably a very specific watchtower that is keeping its eye on that sleeping dragony thing over there. And out the front door here we have a path that winds all the way around the hillside, wiggly woggly. And it joins back up with the path that goes up to the nether portal. Ta-da! You're not Horatia. You need a name too. Every animal is going to be named, I promise. I enjoy catching sight of their name tags when I run around and all the stupid things that I've called them. Now I suppose I should actually move some villages in and secure them, and then we can actually get on with something different, because this has taken me far longer than was ever intended. Yeah, it looks quite nice from down here. I didn't realise how big it was, I thought it was like half that size. Oh well. Worryingly, I'm not hearing any villagers down here. Let's see if they're still here. Are they just at the other end? Yes, they're still here. Good. Bread for the children. You sharing? Oh, that's lovely. Hello! I have no idea where he's going. Oh, Cauldron. Yeah, you can stay there. Yeah, you do that. If you go in the house, at some point, I'll come check on you later. If you go in the house, I'll trap you in there. Where's the rest of them? Not just the one, is there? I saw my little dude run away up here. Where's he gone? Oh, well, there he is. Well, good for you. I'll take another mending. Thank you. Well, I'll convert you when you get there. Off you go. Boop, boop, boop. Good lad. Multi shot. Nah. Okay, sorry. I won't watch. Are you going to share the bread? No. Oh, somebody's a bread hog. I see. You want some privacy. Okay. There we are. Two librarian villagers in their place. Hopefully they'll be safe here. Well, it's easy enough to replace them should they go wandering, but they should be safe here. I'm not sure. A little villager can get out over here. They might be able to go up the step and then over. I mean, to be honest, even the adult villagers might be able to do that, but I haven't seen them do it so far. Do I need a second gate? Maybe. Okay, I might just go do that now. There we are. I don't know if they will have any little baby villagers, but just in case, I've given them some bread. It's a little bit easier to just, you know, multiply them in here than it is to uh, keep bringing them up. So you guys, please be dears and go through these books. And please tell me anything that you find on that dragon. We need to know. 
Any info you can find at all. Don't walk off while I'm talking to you, please. That's a bit rude. Don't kick me. You're in a you're in a mood, okay. What about you? Will you help me? Hm. Bit rude. You do your best too, Horatio. You try and find some answers. We're gonna need all the help we can get. Oh! Jump scat. Now I think I'd like to go on a little adventure. Whilst building all of that roof and all of those beams, I really found it slow because I do not have any swift sneak. Is that what it's called? Swift sneak? I think it is. That sounds about right. So I'm gonna go see if I can find a deep dark and see if I can find a swift sneak book. I've done quite a lot of digging around here. I've been in a lot of the caves. I've been in a lot of caves over there. Some over there. Some over there. But I've not really been this way yet. All the way over here, I have found no trace whatsoever of the deep dark. So I'm going to go this way, I'm going to see what I can find. Honestly, if I find nothing, I will use an app online and see if that gives me any better indication. But I would like to try and find it for myself. I've never actually found one yet. I've never done the deep dark. I've certainly never fought the warden. I do not plan on fighting the warden today, but I would like to fight one at some point. Just not today. I'm kind of just not in the mood. But I would like the sneaky, swifty, swifty, sneaky thingy. And we go. That seems reasonable. Any luck down there, do we think? Not seeing any deep dark down there. I gave up. I used chunk base and I have found that there is one apparently just underneath me. So I'm going to go down and see what I can find. I'm probably just going to dig straight down the forbidden technique, but we'll see what happens. We're coming out into a different place, into a little cave. I think I need to keep going down. It did say minus 50-ish. I don't think I'm at minus 50. Where am I at? Minus 13. Not far. And there we are. The absolute nightmare itself. I have no idea what to do now. Now I know you need to be quiet. That's about it. I know very little about this. That's not quiet. That sounds juicy. Oh. I thought you get three strikes. Is he just going to appear and kill me now? Oh, it was you. Okay. That's my second strike. This isn't fun, by the way. Not enjoying this. Think you need to block it in? I'm not sure. I feel like you can still hear this. Oh. Well, that's disappointing. Oh, there I go. Oh, there's no sneaky pants. Ugh. Briefly thought there were books in there, but there was not. I thought there was enchanted books. That's not promising. Blocked myself in. I think it just goes sideways. Oh! I got the books. I'm just going to get my screens. Just in case. I think I'm fine. How do I get out? Where did I come in? I don't need to look at any more chests. I've got what I need. There it is. Oops. Oh dear. Where is he? The heartbeat's fading. I've lost my water stream again. Oh, that's him going back. Okay. Scared the life out of me. I thought that was him coming up. Is he gone? I think he's gone. Retreat, retreat, retreat. Ah, no, I blocked it. There we are. Excellent. I'm going to leave that bed there so I can find it again if I need to. But I can't believe I did that in one go. I can't believe I did that and didn't die. I was about to say, oh dear, what's that? But it's the dragon, isn't it? Oh well. I can always tell when I'm home. Normal sneaking. Fast sneaking, that's better. Was that swift sneak three or two? Two, okay, so there must be a higher level than that. Oh well, this is better than nothing. It'll do for now. Got my sneaky jorts. Let's go see if the villagers have managed to get anything while I'm away. Hey, you're my mending guy. Have you lost have you lost your trade or are you a different guy? Oh well, he'll 
keep remaking himself into a librarian, I should think. I've got my swift seat leggings, I've got my library set up, I've got my villagers in, and they're going to be working away getting me some information on that creature over there. I think this is it for the episode. I think we're done for... T Did you do this? What great wisdom have you uncovered? Let us see. On beasts and monsters most perilous, an assortment of accounts and studies by various learned and roving sorts. Really? Is that actually what it said? Or have you been a bit fanciful with that? It's getting dark, we'll read it in the morning, I'll be right back. I've returned. Now, where were we? A rare beast of great scale and infamy, the burrowing worm, is rarely seen outside of the lava-filled caves of the hot, dry badlands. That sounds about right. They plunder the countless gold mines that often knit their way through the stone and bedrock, forcing the miners to flee and abandon the mines outright. Once mature, the adult worms spend much of their time resting in the stuffy caves, feeding on diamonds, emeralds, redstone and notably gold, which they have a great hunger for. They eat the precious metals and jewels, making themselves the bane of any mine or forge. Though large, the beasts are shy and won't fight head on, instead sneaking in the night, laying a blazing trail behind it to leave the land impassable. The beast also prefers silence and to go unnoticed, so it can be deterred for some time with guards and their dogs. As the worm grows in confidence, however, it will lose its fear of detection and come for its prize. Eh, uh, that's not great. Is that why you spotted it? Is that what you were trying to tell me? Are you being a good guard dog? There is one thing that will hold a worm back outright, and that is the presence of an even grander creature, the Amethyst Drake. Amethyst Drakes, as the name implies, feed on the crystal growths of Amethyst Geodes, but show little interest in anything else. Though normally mild and peaceful, these drakes will fight ferociously to defend their geodes, so fiercely in fact that they can drive away multiple burrowing worms in one night. That is good news. So for now, we might be able to deter this thing just by having guards and lookouts because it doesn't want to be seen as it sneaks around. But eventually, we're gonna need something more substantial. And it just so happens that we have a big crater back here that we were going to turn into a great big mine. Maybe we could do to attract another kind of visitor, a better visitor that might actually do us a favor. Not only are your eyes bright, your mind is bright too, young Horatio. You're a very good boy. Have another stick. So it would seem we now have some plans. We need to make some watchtowers, we need to make some more guards and some doggies, hopefully, because they're cute. And perhaps we need to start making progress on that mining area and seeing what we can uncover. If we can actually attract the other drake, as the book suggests, then we might have a way of keeping that sinister smoky thing in the background at a healthy and preferable distance. But I will call it here for today because this has taken me far longer than I thought and uh, I'm sorry it was really only one build this week but I'm, it just kept going wrong. That happens sometimes. But we have made some progress. Where's he gone? He's there, isn't he? Made some progress on this sinister thing. But as always, I hope you enjoyed this episode and thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye for now.